Be sure to visit our website at stoneandsons.net for more details on all of our projects, including plans. All right, today we're going to be upgrading the insert for my Delta 36-725 table saw. Now, I've had this saw for a few years now and have never installed a zero clearance insert, and now it's time. But before we get into that, I want to thank Atlas 46 for sponsoring this shop upgrade. Atlas 46 makes the vest that I'm wearing. Uh, my son has one on as well. It pretty much just mirrors the one that I'm wearing. It's just smaller and fits him. So thank you Atlas for supporting this video and supporting this channel. If you'd like to find out more about Atlas 46, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check them out. So with the factory insert, the opening is a little bit wider than what the zero clearance insert would be. Uh, and the reason for that is so when the blade is tilted, you could use this same insert. So really you would want to have three different zero clearance inserts. Uh, for my case, I'd want one for 90 degree cuts, beveled cuts, and also for a dado stack. Now we could have very easily made these zero clearance inserts ourselves with the CNC that we recently got going here in the shop. Now I purchased these or ordered these uh, prior to getting the CNC ready uh, from a fellow woodworker, Matt Plumley, over at Gatwood Workshop uh, to support him and what he's doing over there. So I'll leave a link to his site and store down in the description in case you guys are interested in these particular inserts. Now, Matthias Wendell has a fantastic video on how to make your own. I'll also leave a link down in the description to his video so you can check that out. And you can make these things from MDF, plywood, hardwood, or different blanks that you can get from different woodworking sites. But we're going to install these today. I'm going to bring you in closer and show you what we're going to do. So here is the new insert. Matt sent this to me with this already cut. This is for the riving knife in the back, uh, the screw holes that level this insert up and a finger grip here. He also has some of the cutouts here. Once you raise the blade, some different components in the saw uh, lift mechanism, will this will give room for those things to uh, raise up to have the saw fully engaged to the top of the table. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert this into the saw and get the riving knife in place, like so. I don't need this anymore. So what I can do is bring the, the fence over and lock it down in place. Now, that insert is not going anywhere. I can cut the saw on and raise it up, and now I can go ahead and finish the cut into the insert. Now I also want to make sure that I can use the blade guard and the anti-kickback paws that came with the saw. Now the original insert has a different material on the back specifically for these paws that as I raise and lower the blade this rides on here uh, and this allows the paws to slide across the plate. Now with the MDF plate, obviously, once I do that with this, it's gonna start digging into this MDF. Uh, so I gotta be mindful of that as I as I lower the blade, because when I lower the blade, that's when it's gonna start digging into it. Raising it's not an issue, it's just lowering the blade. So the first thing I wanna test out is the dust collection. See how well that's gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna clean off the tabletop. I'm gonna put this back on here uh, and then run a cut with the dust collection on, see how well it performs, and then clean off the table again, put this in here, and then do it uh, a second time, and compare the two. Now I went ahead and raised the blade all the way up to make the full cut, because I do want some air, or some area that the dust can travel back down into as the blade is cutting, uh, if I just raised it so much, uh, because a lot of people, when they get these inserts, they only raise it to break the uh, the surface so the saw blade is showing through the insert and then they don't make the full cut and they just cut it as they need it. But I went ahead and cut the full length of the blade. Uh, that way it'll have some area for the dust to go back down into the saw. So let's go ahead and make those test cuts now and see how the dust collection performs.
All right, guys, so that is pretty much our shop upgrade for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's always a good time having my son in the shop. Uh, and plus, we've got a zero clearance insert into the table saw now. It's a little bit safer when we're making uh, different type cuts. Uh, so excited about that. See the links down in the description. And if you are not a subscriber to our channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can get uh, notifications for all of our future videos. Uh, we'd love to have you back here again for the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.